Hi everybody, Kate here from Lee's Bird Rants. I hope you're having a great week. Heading towards the weekend pretty rapidly and international action last night, of course, from the Young Lions and tonight from the Lions. Wasn't it amazing to see Darko captaining England last night? I was really, really proud. Short back pages today, but let's get into them. Screeching leads U-turn over underwhelming winter signing. And massive confidence boost for White's player with Goal of the Month nomination. Let's go. Now then, Villa boss and huge Western McKenney fan Unai Emery has been handed a massive boost to his dream of signing the 24-year-old after Leeds have apparently got cold feet. According to 90 Minutes, Leeds are considering sending McKenney back to his parent club, Juventus, without taking the option to buy. This, of course, would open the way for other clubs, including Villa, to nip in and make a move for the USA International. Now, with a slow start to his time at Ellen Road, it seems that Leeds just haven't seen enough to convince them that £29 million is a good deal for McKenney this summer. An Italian newspaper, Tutto Sport, reported last week that Villa are waiting in the wings and ready to swoop. However, the view from FA5 on Leeds All Over website said this, I don't think McKenney is worth the money we're going to have to pay for him in the summer, but I also don't think it would harm us to have him in the side. He also said, I find it hard to believe that we can just worm our way out of the option to buy him. And I think it would be incredibly risky to do so after everything that happened with John Kevin Augustine. He's clearly a talented and skilled midfielder who just needs to sharpen up in certain areas, such as his ball retention and choice of pass. Not much then, right? Um, but in a poll conducted by this site, you do not agree and neither do I. Look, I do not believe in football or in life there is ever a situation when things can't be changed or solutions cannot be found. With a sofa score average rating of 6.6, .6, no goals, one assist and a generally underwhelming performance this season, I don't get excited by Weston McKenney. Do you? I mean, I get excited by watching Willie Nonto. I get excited by watching uh, Sinistera. I, I get excited watching um, Chris Somerville when he's having a good day. I get excited watching Luke Ayling at the back. I do not get excited watching Weston McKenney. Now, I'm not saying he's a bad player. He's obviously a good player. He's in the USA men's team. I mean, he is a decent footballer, but is he what we want? I mean, I just keep thinking, how can we justify podding out nearly 30 million quid for a player just because oh, it wouldn't harm us if he was on the team? It's not good enough. Is that how we're going to build a standout team fit to compete at the highest level in the Premier League, full of mediocre players who aren't great, but they won't harm us if they're in the side? It's not going to happen. It would harm us because that £30 million could be better spent on someone like uh, Ilya Shakamach or Victor Giacores. You know, who is excited to watch, 36 starts this, this season, 18 goals, 8 assists. These are the sorts of players that we should be looking at, players who add value. Not players who we should keep because, you know, won't harm us, won't do us any harm. Well, they would. They would do us harm. Because they, they're not adding enough value. You know, we need people who can come in and have an impact. I know that we have to sort of bring players on. I know that. But not when you're spending any £30 million. These guys should be ready to hit the, hit the ground running. Wouldn't you agree? Let me know. If you think I'm out of order and, uh, you know, I could very well be, let me know. But... You know, unless we're unless we're living in a in a in a time when you know we've got a bottomless pit of cash, we have to be a little bit more discerning where we spend it. And Weston McKenney for me isn't doing it. Yeah, he's good. He's a nice guy, 
I've got nothing against him personally, but he's not as he's not the dynamic player we need in our midfield, in my opinion. Tyler Adams is, but he isn't. Let me know what you think. I could not let today go with ranting about that. That's why I've only put two items in today's back pages. But moving on, Jack Harrison, remember him? The guy that up until a few weeks ago, he couldn't do anything right. The guy who everybody wanted shot of because that own goal that wasn't an own goal happened at Brighton. Well, he has just been nominated for goal of the month. Yes, that awesome strike that he made to equalise against Brighton at Elland Road at the beginning of the month has been nominated alongside goals by Reese Nelson um, for Arsenal against Bournemouth on the 4th of March, Cody Gakpo in that Liverpool 7-0 trouncing over Man United, Patson Dakar, Chelsea versus Leeds on the 11th, Kai Havertz for the other team for Chelsea, same match. Uh, Matteo Kovacic, same match as that. Um, and then Jack Harrison, two all um, draw at Brighton. Alexander Isak, um, Newcastle's beating of Forest last Friday. And Johnny Otto with that rather dubious goal uh, against Leeds last Saturday. I mean, you know, that accidental goal. Um, I don't know. Should that be nominated? Really? Are there no... Are there no better goals this month in the Premier League than that? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Right, that is all we've got time for today. I'm going to go and get ready for the game later on. I hope you enjoy it. Come on, England. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.